looking at milder air blowing into the bluegrass state as we head into that Easter weekend. We'll talk about the possibility of some thunderstorms crashing the party just ahead. We are tracking breaking news after a former Kentucky cabinet secretary is charged today with bribery involving federal funds. And we're live down at Rupp Arena where the UK Hoops team is gearing up for their Sweet 16 game tonight. How you can still get tickets coming up. WKYT News starts now with breaking news. Good afternoon to you. Amber Philpott reporting. Jennifer has the afternoon off. Kentucky's deputy attorney general and the former head of the Kentucky Personnel Cabinet has been charged with bribery involving federal funds. According to a complaint filed today in U.S. District Court in Lexington, Timothy Longmire and others participated in a kickback scheme involving health insurance giants Humana and Anthem. Our Kristen Kennedy is live for us from the federal courthouse here in Lexington with the breaking details. Good afternoon, Kristen. Amber, the U.S. attorney believes that scheme started back in 2011 and ran through much of last year. He, along with FBI special agents, claimed that Tim Longmire used his position in a state office to get more than 200 grand in kickbacks. Longmire worked as secretary of the personnel cabinet for almost four years. He oversaw the Kentucky Employees Health Plan, and in that position, U.S. Attorney Kerry Harvey claims he got an unnamed company work with health care providers Humana and Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield. In return for securing that work for the unnamed company, Attorney Harvey claims Longmire received payments from them. The payments, he said, included cash and contributions to different political campaigns. I do think it is important to emphasize, however, that uh, we don't have any evidence at this point that would indicate any of the candidates whose campaigns received this money would have had any reason to know that it was tainted money. Longmire will be in court next month. He faces up to 10 years in prison and a fine of up to $250,000. Live in Lexington, Kristen Kennedy, WKYT. Kristen, thank you. Longmire resigned from the Kentucky Personnel Cabinet in September of last year. He most recently served as Deputy Attorney General under Andy Bashir. In a statement released just a little bit ago, Andy Bashir says he was just informed of the criminal complaint today and that Tim Longmire resigned earlier this week. Switching gears now, we are rolling into the big Easter weekend here in the Bluegrass on a chilly note. This is a live picture now of downtown Lexington. The good news for you is today's chill doesn't necessarily set the tone for the rest of the weekend. Let's check in now with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Hi, Chris. Hi, Amber. Indeed, today, as expected, on the chilly note, those thermometers stuck in the 40s. Into most areas, winds making it feel a little colder, but the better stuff is on the way for Saturday and to part of Easter Sunday. We were looking at downtown Lexington. Let's look at Hamburg Pavilion. Cloudy skies. You can almost just see the chill that is in the air. Then we throw the actual temperatures into the mix. It's only 42 into Lexington right now. Winds today not as gusty as yesterday. Humidity's up there, so that chill is going to continue through the course of the afternoon right on into the evening. Where we're getting a peak of sunshine, Covington 47, southeastern Kentucky a little warmer, if you could call 47 to 50 warmer. That's below normal for this time of year. But every Every location seeing numbers today well below where we should be. With skies clearing this evening, that could set the stage for a little frost overnight. Frost advisories out for much of central Kentucky with a freeze warning across the northern tier of counties. So uh, tender plants and vegetation are out a little early this year. May want to take care of them. Defender radar network, nothing going on locally, but we do see those clouds beginning to break into northern Kentucky. Don't be surprised, Amber, if in the bluegrass region over the next couple of hours we don't see at least a hint of a little sunshine. The weekend looks a lot better. We'll track that and show you the potential for some late Easter thunderstorms in just a few. All right, even if it's a hint, Chris, that is a good one. Thank you so much. Major developments in the ongoing battle against ISIS. Today, police in Belgium arrested a man suspected of taking part in Tuesday's deadly terrorist attacks. In Syria, a top ISIS leader has been killed. Steve Nanis has the details. It's our top story at four. A shootout in the Belgian district of Scharbeck has led to the arrest of a man officials say is linked to Tuesday's deadly terrorist attacks in Brussels. Witnesses say they heard two explosions, then gunfire. The person who was taken into custody was wounded, according to the local mayor. Police have been focused on this town since Thursday when they raided a nearby apartment and found chemicals and an ISIS flag. 
Secretary of State John Kerry said Friday more attacks could be in the works. We know that there are foreign fighters who have returned from Syria over a span now of about five years. That is the reason for people being vigilant and for being alert, and that's the reason for travel advisories and restraints. Meanwhile, the Pentagon has confirmed that the number two leader of ISIS has been killed. We are systematically eliminating ISIL's cabinet. Abd al Rahman al Gaduli, who officials say oversaw the group's finances, was next in line to control day to day operations. The removal of this ISIL leader will hamper the organization's ability to conduct operations both inside and outside of Iraq and Syria. Al Gaduli's death could be a major blow to an organization that is stepping up its efforts to attack Europe and the U.S. And as the war on ISIS rages on, the victims from Tuesday's attacks struggle to recover from the physical and emotional wounds. American survivor Mason Wells is counting his blessings. I was so lucky. I was so lucky, being how close I was. In Washington, I'm Steve Nanis reporting. Back here in Kentucky, the family of a Lexington native is still waiting to hear what happened to their loved ones in the wake of the terror attacks. Stephanie Schultz and her husband Justin were in the Brussels airport Tuesday when two bombs went off. The Schultz haven't been seen since, and their families say they've been getting mixed information. Stephanie's aunt, Betty Newsom, says her brother in law arrived in Brussels yesterday. She says the Belgian government is making search efforts for survivors tough. You can find the very latest on the Belgium attacks on WKYT.com. The state is reporting a third confirmed case of the Zika virus in Kentucky. The Cabinet for Health and Family Services says a pregnant woman from Louisville contracted the virus after traveling to an affected area. She has since recovered. Zika is a mosquito borne virus linked to a birth defect called microcephaly. The state's two other cases were found in men who also travel to affected areas. We are working on a number of other stories for you on WKYT starting at 4.30. Sam Dick joins us now from the newsroom with a look at some of the news in progress. Hello, Sam. Good afternoon, Amber. A judge setting a trial date for three men accused of killing a University of Kentucky student. The trial for Efrain Diaz, Justin Smith, and Roman Gonzalez will be March 6th next year. They're charged in the murder of Jonathan Kruger. He was shot and killed last April. Diaz and Smith are eligible for the death penalty. Gonzalez was a juvenile at the time of the shooting, so the maximum penalty for him is life in prison. We'll have more on this story coming up ahead at 4.30. A hearing today could decide if owners of the bluegrass stockyards will be able to rebuild on a controversial site. The stockyards in Lexington was destroyed in a massive fire back in January. The owners have proposed building a new stockyard on Old Ironworks Pike near the Fayette Scott County line. But some people have raised concerns because the new building would sit near the aquifer that supplies Georgetown with drinking water. We'll have more on that hearing ahead on WKYT News at 4.30. That's a quick look at some of the news in progress. Amber, back to you. Sam, thank you. The UK women's team plays in the NCAA Sweet 16 tonight, and they don't have far to travel to do it. The Wildcats face Washington at Rupp Arena at 7. As Christy Thomas reports, the women have been to the Elite Eight three times, but never a Final Four. She is live for us at Rupp with all the details. Hello, Christy. Amber, well, obviously, there is a ton of excitement around this team and around this opportunity. Mayor uh, Lexington Mayor Jim Gray declaring this entire weekend Blue White Weekend, and then, of course, Governor Beth declaring today UK Women's Basketball Day. So a lot of excitement. And the players really felt that yesterday when I talked to them in practice. They're excited as well and they're ready to play. But Matthew Mitchell said just because we're playing in Rupp Arena doesn't guarantee anything. That does not. The, the first weekend's really hard because everybody. Uh, you know, you're looking down the road a little bit, and, and as a coach, I think the first weekend's so tough. Everybody in the tournament wants to make it to the Sweet 16 round. It's hard to do. It's not easy to do. And so, you know, I think there's pressure there because the kids want it so much. So this, when you get to this weekend, um, you know, there, there's, it's, it's, a, it's a very good team you're going to play, and if you don't win Friday, there's nothing to worry about on Sunday. 
The Cats are 2-0 and in Rupp Arena this season with two impressive wins over Duke and Louisville. So we'll see if they can keep that going. All is quiet right now in the Lexington Center, but rest assured that will, sh will change in the next couple of hours. About 9,000 tickets expected to have been sold for this game. So hopefully that means that the Big Blue Nation will show up and show out. Amber will have plenty more coming up uh, at 5 and 6 o'clock tonight. All right, Christy, we will see you then. Thank you. And tickets, by the way, can be purchased at Rupp Arena, the Joe Craft Center, or online. If you can't make it to Rupp, that game again will air on ESPN2. We'll have more on how fans are gearing up for tonight's game coming up on WKYT News at 430. Air travel is at an all-time high. Find out how many more people are flying ahead in WKYT Money Watch. Now you can start your car with your smartphone. I'm Jill Wagner in New York. I'll have that story coming up. If you had the Assure permanent birth control device implanted by your doctor and have suffered complications, you may be owed damages. This is a time-sensitive issue, and we want to make sure you get all you deserve. Call the Becker Law Office for a free evaluation. Hello, I'm Rob Romley, inviting WKYT TV viewers on the vacation of your dreams a land and cruise tour of Alaska, August 5th to the 18th. We'll stay near Denali National Park and watch for wildlife on a guided park tour. Our vacation includes Anchorage, Fairbanks, the White Pass and Yukon Train, and a four night Holland America cruise through Glacier Bay and the Inside Passage. For more information, call Holiday Vacations, 1 800 826 2266. It's a one-of-a-kind sale at Suff's Furniture and Oriental Rugs. It's the Save the Tax Sale. Save 20 to 50% off store-wide. Plus, we pay the tax. There's great savings at Suff's on Lazy Boy recliners and sofas. Buy a Serta sofa for $7.66 and get a love seat free. Or purchase a King or Queen Tempur-Pedic and receive a free queen set. A $300 value. For six days only, the price on the floor is the price out the door. Vito is getting ready for the Save the Tax Sale at Suff's Furniture and Oriental Rugs in Georgetown and on Nicholasville Road. Are you happy with your bathroom? I wasn't. I thought I didn't have the money until I learned about Bathfitter. Bathfitter puts a new bathtub right over your old one. Isn't that amazing? Bathfitter will measure and install right over your existing tub. And only Bathfitter has seamless walls, which guarantees a watertight fit. Plus, they do it all in just one day. That's my favorite part. Book a free consultation and find out for yourself. Call today or learn more at bathfitternow.com. I was scared to go back to the dentist because I hadn't been in for a while. But they cut me some slack when they saw all this plaque and they didn't make fun of my smile. I don't have insurance, but they didn't mind, which I thought was a setup for robbing me blind. But I financed my teeth, this toothpaste was free, and the numbing stuff really worked wonders on me. No insurance? With a free new patient exam and x-rays, plus extended financing available, dentistry's never been easier. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. You know, Kentucky weather is what it is. For those of us who've lived here our entire lives, we've just accepted the fact that we're never going to be able to control it. I remember growing up in Sagersville and wondering, what is it about Kentucky that makes our weather so ridiculous? And that passion to understand it has led me to where I am today. While I still can't control it, I sure as heck really understand it. I'm WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey, and I stand for Kentucky. My attorney treated me like family. They don't worry about what they get, they worry about what you get. It's that simple. Serious, experienced results. Call the Becker Law Office, just dial threes. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. It appears air travel in the United States is at an all-time high, according to the Department of Transportation. That begins today's Money Watch. Last year, airlines carried nearly 900 million passengers, both domestically and internationally. That's 5% higher than the previous year. American Airlines carried the most passengers, and Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson International was the busiest airport. The Toyota Corolla is turning 50 years old, and to celebrate, the car maker unveiled a new redesigned special edition model with new safety features, including automatic emergency braking. 
43 million Corollas have been sold since 1966. The New York Auto Show starts today. One of the cars on display can actually be unlocked and started with a smartphone. Jill Wagner explains. Missy Frazier says she always has her cell phone in hand. Her car key, not so much. Have you ever lost your car key? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> How frustrating is that? Very frustrating. With that in mind, Volvo is making their physical keys digital. Imagine being able to leave your key at home and still use your car. An app allows the car to sense your phone, just like a wireless key fob. So lock, unlock the car, start the car, drive off, do anything that you need to do. Volvo's Jim Nichols showed me how it works. So as you approach, it knows that you're close enough, and then that way you can just pull on the handle and have the door unlock. And it could start the car as well? Absolutely. You just, just like you would with a regular key fob, sit in the driver's seat, turn the switch, off you go. The app also allows users to send a digital key to friends and family who are borrowing the car. Nichols says technology is a big selling point, especially for young people. And it's not just automakers who are taking notice. Starwood Hotel's new app lets users check in and open their hotel room door with their phones. Other companies are creating wireless entry for homes. I think it's pretty cool. Frazier likes the convenience, but worries about the safety. Nichol says the digital key is actually more secure than a physical one. If you lose your phone or the phone gets stolen, you can go online and disable this. Volvo's keyless cars are expected to hit the market next year. In New York, Jill Wagner, CBS News. Volvo drivers who prefer a physical key could still get one. Clouds slowly breaking across the area as we speak. I'll show you why that is a good sign as we head into your Easter holiday weekend. That's up next. You know, Kentucky weather is what it is. For those of us who've lived here our entire lives, we've just accepted the fact that we're never going to be able to control it. I remember growing up in Sayersville and wondering, what is it about Kentucky that makes our weather so ridiculous? And that passion to understand it has led me to where I am today. While I still can't control it, I sure as heck really understand it. I'm WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey, and I stand for Kentucky. How do we put our buying power to work for you? With Power Buy, Power Financing, Power Upgrade, Power Coupon, Free TVs, and more. Hurry, because our Power Sellathon ends Tuesday. Nobody beats the rats. I love him, but he can be so forgetful. That's probably why he hasn't signed up for Simple Saver. All you have to do is call or click. I called Simple Saver. We'll save energy, help the environment, and get free energy credits. It's so simple. <laughs> A message from Kentucky's Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. Tired of painting? Go Rhino, and you'll never have to paint again. Now you can have the guaranteed protection of Rhino Shield for brick, stucco, wood, or aluminum. And Rhino Shield won't chip, crack, flake, or peel for home or business. Don't paint, don't vinyl. Go Rhino. Don't paint, don't vinyl. Go Rhino Shield. Never paint your house again. Rhino Shield. Of all the things we could do today, a world of wonder would lead the way for me and you. It's a special day. We'll touch living things, discover even more, a place to play and explore, explore. Just me and you and a whole new world. See, touch, explore together at Newport Aquarium. There's a lot to see at Nissan Now. I'm turning heads. And there's never been a better time to get your new Nissan. Five exciting new models. This is Nissan Now. Choose a $189 per month lease on the 2016 Nissan Altima or the 2016 Nissan Rogue. Hurry. Offers end March 31st. Shop your local Nissan store and choose Nissan.com. Want to make great meals easy? Then you'll want to come to our kitchen makeover event. Look at all you get in this Amana stainless steel package. Now just $19.99. Plus up to three years zero interest with select packages of free 50-inch TV. Nobody beats
Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Like WKYT on Facebook. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. A definite chill in the air today compared to where we have been over the past several days. Those numbers this afternoon compared to yesterday when we were talking to you. Just ahead of some rain, take a look at all the blue on this map. 24-hour temperature change, 19 degrees colder in Lexington, 28 degrees colder in the northeastern Kentucky. And in this case, for this time of year, that actually means cold. Low 40s into most of the area. 40 the cool spot into Maysville. Some areas have been struggling to get into the low 40s pretty much all day long with a bit of a breeze. Certainly feels a few degrees colder than that. Sunshine slowly making an appearance here across parts of northern Kentucky. Around the Covington, Cincinnati area getting in on some sun. Folks watching us right now up around Sadieville. Cynthiana likely seeing some skies that are brightening. And before the evening, uh, before the sun sets into the evening, I do think we'll see some rays of sun across parts of the bluegrass region. To our west and northwest, the skies are indeed clearing. We're going to watch that southwestern sky as we go into our Saturday. That's better weather that is coming at us from the Mississippi Valley. So that Saturday forecast with temperatures tomorrow morning, kiss the frost to begin the day. Tomorrow afternoon, kiss the frost goodbye. 66. Your afternoon temperature with a mostly sunny sky. Let's fast forward now into Easter Sunday. Let's face it, we're all making plans for Easter Sunday. Sunrise services, temperatures around the upper 40s to 50. Breezy conditions. Easter egg hunts into the afternoon. We're pushing 70, if not a few low 70s, but you got to watch for the possibility of a shower or thunderstorm that comes into the late afternoon and early evening hours, especially. This computer model continues to say the skies are going to clear this evening. It's a little too optimistic. I like its enthusiasm. Into tomorrow morning, low and mid 30s to begin the day. Tomorrow afternoon, mid to upper 60s. Plenty of sunshine around for your Saturday. Let's walk you into Easter Sunday now. Hour by hour breakdown. Into the morning, 7 o'clock around sunrise. Those temperatures again, upper 40s to low 50s. The later we get the rain into town on Sunday, the better the chance those temperatures will surge towards 70 to 75 degrees. Also, the longer we keep the sun, the better the threat that a few of those late afternoon and evening thunderstorms could be a little on the strong side. We will watch that potential as we go into Easter Sunday afternoon and evening. And then on Monday, it's another chilly day as colder air wraps back in from the northwest. That extended forecast, 66 tomorrow, near 70 on Easter Sunday. There we go with a chill down on Monday. Early part of next week, temperatures rebound quickly as we go into Wednesday near 70. Could be a shower or thunderstorm as early as Wednesday night. Best chance on Thursday. After that, it is game on for a major blast of cold that will likely settle in across much of the country for the first week of April. We have a freeze threat coming for the next couple of weeks on occasion, including tomorrow morning for some of us. Right now, let's check on traffic. Here's Officer Don. Live look at Lexington rush hour traffic and slowdowns right now. Under circle on the outer loop approaching Leestown Road should clear up short. We had a stalled car got us off to a bad start there. Uh, the injury crash that we were working on Clay's Mill has been cleared, so that leaves us with our drive times, uh, which we're holding our own toward Nicholasville right now. Out down toward Nicholasville, 14 minutes or so. Uh, it looks like in the Winchester on 64 we're okay, and US 60 looks good, and 75 in the Madison County in Richmond, no problems. Now back to you in the studio. I'm Deanne Stevens out and about today looking for something to keep the little ones busy. How about a science project? We'll have some ideas for you when we return here on WKYT. Tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is $35 million, and tomorrow night's Powerball jackpot is $101 million. It's that time of year for Buick March Madness at Adams Buick GMC Truck in Richmond, and we're slamming the competition. Now choose from over 25 new Buick Encores starting at $21,995. Lease a new Buick Regal, $299 a month. Save over $6,500 on a new Buick LaCrosse, now $3,720. Or get a new Buick Enclave for $33,900. Plus, get the Adams Advantage, a limited lifetime powertrain warranty. Buick March Madness is on at Adams Buick GMC Truck in Richmond, where... Sid says sell them. All across America, families are coming back to Time Warner Cable for a whole new experience. We came back for internet speed so fast, even the kids are impressed. Oh, she's impressed. We're catching up on movies and shows on demand just as fast as we can watch them. TWC's home Wi-Fi is so strong, we can use all our devices at the same time. 
Come back today. You'll get 30 meg internet, TV, phone, and more for $89.99 a month. And ask how you could get a $300 reward card. Call now. I'm Rob Bromley, inviting WKYT-TV viewers on the vacation of your dreams, a land and cruise tour of Alaska, August 5th to the 18th. We'll enjoy a guided tour of Denali National Park, visit Anchorage and Fairbanks, and travel on the White Pass and Yukon Route Railway. We'll also board the MS Volendam for a spectacular four-night Holland America cruise. All airfare, hotels, and more are included. For a free brochure, call Holiday Vacations at 1-800-826-2266. Hi, here for our One for Everyone event? Yep, and I brought everyone. Everyone? Kamiko's my BFF, Darren's her boyfriend, Jillian's my sister. She's dating Liam, who used to date Teresa, but they're still friends. Well, Kamiko and Darren could get 0% APR financing, low monthly payments for Jillian, amazing lease deals for Liam, and tons of inventory for his friend, Teresa. Nice. It's the final days with 0% financing on your favorite new Toyotas. Get up to 58 MPG in the fourth generation Prius with leases starting at just $209 a month. Got room for one more? Toyota, let's go places. Did your family set a goal to become healthier in the new year? One family did and lost 300 pounds at Ageless. Bruce lost 92 pounds, Adam lost 64 pounds, and Catherine lost 151 pounds. For a medically supervised affordable weight loss solution, call Ageless today for a free consultation. When big news breaks, be the first to know. Download the WKYT News app and turn on push alerts. Breaking news at your fingertips when you need to know what's going on. Push alerts, now available on the WKYT News app. Today was the last day of school for Fayette County while they take a week off for spring break. Are you looking for something to keep the little ones busy? Deanne Stevens is out and about today with some ideas to help. Hi, Deanne. Hey, good afternoon, guys. We are preparing for a couple of days either at home or maybe on the beach for spring break. What do you do with the kiddos? Who's ready for spring break? Me. Me. What's everybody doing for spring break? We're going to Mama's house. Well, what do you do at Mama's? We play. You play? What else do you guys do? What are you all doing? I'm going to go to my, my grandpa's house. Grandpa. Yeah, your grandparents' house. Well, at your grandparents' houses, do you all come up with activities to do there? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah like what? Um, we, me and Sissy Bladen did um, cut up some little shapes. Yeah, to keep you busy, right? Sarah Caswell is with us, and Sarah, it is not an easy task to keep little ones busy, is it? Not at all, but there are great fun ways to do that. Yeah, and you were telling me, you're like, Dan, I have so many Pinterest boards and <laughs> activities that, that you do with the little ones. It's good, it's easy, it's simple, it's a click of a finger, and you can come up with things, right? Yeah, that's true. Okay, what are we doing today? Today, we're going to be doing a science experiment. Um, we like to call it Sinking a ship. Is that good with you guys? Sinking right. a ship. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hallie, are you good with that? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, let's get started. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our ship inside the water. Okay? Okay. So the cool thing about this is you can do it with pretty much anything in your house. So it's going to be very, very cost affordable for you. So you just have a bucket of water. Does it matter how much water you put in there? Nope. Just as long as um, your object's going to float. That's very important. Okay. That way it'll sink. Now, could I use a... a oh. A plastic or just paper? Paper works best, probably. Yeah, this is just a paper cup, and it has like a plastic lining inside of it. Um, I got them at Hobby Lobby, so um, easy enough. Right in your backyard, kind of thing. Okay. So, so yeah. What do we do next? Well, today we're actually going to use some coins, and we're going to count them out. So I'm going to give each child two coins today. Okay. So we're going to have to pass around our little water area so they can put them in there, and we're going to try to sink our boat. Okay, so, every, and, and do we know, how many pennies are you all getting? Two. Two, so we learn how to count, right? Yeah. Two pennies, what if you got two nickels? Would that be more than two pennies? Yeah, yeah. you all are quick learners, aren't you? Okay, so we're going to take the pennies. Mm -hmm. And what are we going to do next? And now we are going to put them. What? What? You guys come over here so you can watch too, okay? You all come over here. All right. Penny's in the boat. And keep going. There we go. So you have to be very gentle when you put them in. Don't forget. And so do we talk to the kids about how many coins it normally takes? Do you guys count to see? So we usually do, but we're getting close. Oh, my goodness. What's going to happen if we get too many in there? 
It's going to drown. It's going to drown. Okay, here we go. Let's put those in there. And eventually, that ship is going to sink, right? Yes, ma'am. These are simple little things that you can do at home with the little ones. Now, coming up at 450, we have a simple craft project for the little ones, too. And most, as you heard, a lot of the kiddos are going to grandparents, uh, their grandparents' home for spring break. So these are simple, and you can enjoy and have fun and keep the little ones busy. I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about. Thanks to Pepper Hill Preschool, who helped us out with our activities today. Back to you guys. All right, Deanne, thanks so much. We want to check back in now with Chris. And Chris, it is Easter weekend, a lot going on for a lot of folks. You're saying I got a little pressure on me to deliver the forecast uh, in a good way this weekend, or for Mother Nature to deliver the good stuff for the weekend. It's going to get a little better. It's hanging there this evening. We're starting to pick up on some breaks in the overcast now. Frankfurt and north around Jackson, at least a ray of sunshine here or there. Temperatures that are into the upper 40s, where we're getting some peaks of sun. Lexington, Frankfurt still low 40s. Keep in mind, normal highs are around 60 as of right now, so we are way below the ball game. 47 Covington, they're seeing a little sunshine, though. 47 into the Jackson area, and you can actually see the possibility for some frost into the entire region tonight. A frost advisory is out for all of central and eastern Kentucky. Freezing temperatures in the valleys across the north and northeast. Keep it right here. We'll focus more on that Easter holiday weekend just ahead. And WKYT News at 4.30, and it starts right now.